Hi everyone, welcome back to the Femininity Tea, where we steep in all things feminine. Today's video is inspired by a YouTuber called Burb and Bougie, which led me to reflect on the recent discourse surrounding the concept of traditional wives, or trad wives, and the broader societal expectations on women. I plan to delve into this complex issue, address various criticisms, expose the disingenuous people and notion that trad wife is a pipeline to single motherhood. Let's get into it. Saying that a divorced or widowed mother is the same as a baby, mama is just straight up lies. The former took effort, work, discipline, and responsibility. The latter gave their womb and put their life on the line for someone who did not fully commit to them. Whatever the circumstances may be, it is not the same. The assertion that there's a direct pipeline from being a trad wife to becoming a single mom is, in itself, a false statement. To the single mothers out there, this does not mean you cannot marry if that is what you desire. However, it is important to be realistic about how the world perceives you. Additionally, content creators should stop exploiting these narratives for gain. This is why many express regrets about having children, often due to a lack of support. The trend of backlash against women who choose traditional roles, with a significant push for them to earn their own money by having a career rather than pursuing a hobby or home business, is unreasonable. This is especially true when the message is coming from a woman who is already married with children, verb and bougie. Why not share how you managed to secure such a husband instead of instilling fear and encouraging women to focus solely on themselves? I'm unclear about your career. Is it TikTok and YouTube as they seem more like hobbies or home businesses? If so, it seems spreading misinformation has become a profitable venture for you. Why not guide younger women on how they can achieve a lifestyle similar to yours? I assume you live in an upscale suburban area, hence the name Berg and Bougie. Why criticize a woman's decision to embrace a submissive role to her husband and dedicate herself to her family? Why encourage women to hate men when you have a son? It's quite ironic that you have the luxury to stay at home making videos, advising women against pursuing the very lifestyle you lead. How hypocritical. You featured Jeannie on TikTok in some of your videos. Jeannie called for making the trad wife lifestyle illegal. She seems to misunderstand that feminism is fundamentally about choice, making her stance paradoxical and frankly absurd. She is another grifter whose story doesn't add up, but obviously people believe her because she is able to splurge a good amount on that wig she wears. Jeannie appears to be doing quite well financially, especially after claiming she received nothing after being married to a rich man for over 20 years. Sure, we believe you. Didn't she help work with her family's business? So, her family, let her be homeless in a car with children and no food to eat. We don't believe her. In her case, is it fair to say that every traditional marriage ends in disaster, leaving the woman without resources or support? So why criticize the individual woman and her lifestyle choices? Are all Mormon men cheaters? If the issue was her ex-husband, why not address how horrible he was? Why not attack the ex-husband's character rather than attacking the concept of homemaking? Better yet, why not warn women of the signs to look out for? The fundamental lesson for all marriages is that they require effort. Being married, just like maintaining any relationship, involves continuous work. It's important to recognize that nobody is protected from the uncertainties of life. Believing that marriage is merely about the wedding day and expecting everything to be flawless afterward is naive. Marriage is about two people joining together, often to raise children and learning to navigate life's hurdles together. Desiring a perfect marriage without putting in the necessary effort is akin to wishing for money to simply appear. It's unrealistic. What do you do when, after 45 years in a job, you suddenly get laid off? What if AI replaces your role, rendering your education obsolete? Rarely does anyone advise against a career path with the warning that it could lead to unemployment due to unforeseeable future events. Yet, as someone with a positive outlook, your responsibility is to muster all your strength to recover. Life's difficulties spare no one. In these moments, the support of a loving family and a dedicated spouse becomes invaluable. The narrative that older women are commonly left for younger ones contrasts sharply with statistics showing that women initiate 80% of divorces, suggesting a different reality. This fact calls for a more nuanced interpretation, 
Discussing divorce involves sifting through numerous contexts to grasp the specifics of each situation. Notably, divorce rates among the affluent are pretty close to the 1950s, while in poorer, younger demographics, the rate of divorce hovers around 50%. Additionally, the idea that men invariably benefit more from divorce proceedings warrants a more equitable scrutiny in response to Burb and Bougie's advice to avoid being subservient and self-sacrificing. It's important to recognize that in most marriages, both partners often make considerable sacrifices. Many men go to great lengths, enduring significant stress at work to provide for their families. In the role of a husband, there's an unspoken expectation to protect one's family at all costs, even if it means facing life-threatening dangers. There's hardly anything more sacrificial than risking one's life for the safety of loved ones. There is a noticeable trend among some influential women who advocate for feminist narratives, glorifying the virtues of being single and childless, and portraying themselves as champions for those less fortunate with declarations of, I just want to help. However, these are often the same women who lead lives marked by affluence, residing in upscale neighborhoods with stable marriages and families, thus profiting from a narrative that sharply contrasts with their personal beliefs. This discrepancy underscores an aspect of feminism that seems disconnected from the challenges faced by many women. Figures like Burb and Bougie should be held accountable for their hypocrisy, promoting a lifestyle of independence that does not mirror their own, potentially leading to a disconnection for their audience, who may be in search of genuine guidance and support in their lives. Watch out for these women. They are elitist and are using you to feel better and maintain their status. They are implying that you cannot achieve what they have because you lack certain qualities or abilities. In conclusion, the debate between traditional roles and career paths is a hot topic, largely because there's monetary gain involved. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment. If you agree with this video, like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, stay sweet.